cloud-based solutions are unifying remote teams now more than ever. I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about Sony's C Media Cloud and how it's helping broadcasters to unify their entire operations. When the pandemic hit, broadcasters were challenged to make their on-prem ex systems accessible from outside their firewalls. Others moved operations directly into the cloud. And while that solved the initial or immediate problem of access, it caused another one, namely the fact that you need to move content over and over again. The central edit storage couldn't be leveraged, so editors were downloading their content to their own local hard drives. They're creating new renditions and new versions, and those are being stored in multiple locations throughout the production process. And then it's uploaded into a separate system so that it can be reviewed and collaborated upon with other people, which results in even more copies. And then finally, when that content is finished, it's moved into its playout or supply chains or OTT solutions. That's a lot of hops. And each hop comes with three big pain points. First, it takes time to move that content. Second, it costs money to move it. And third, and from a security perspective, it's a nightmare as it's dramatically increasing the attack surfaces, which need to be protected. All because the content is being moved to the tools instead of the tools being moved to the content. In order to truly benefit from the cloud, content has to be securely stored in a centrally accessible location with the ability to grant the required access to the people, the processes, and the applications that need it. This was one of the core principles of Sony's C Media Cloud way back in 2012, and we've been working ever since to make it a reality. It's also, by the way, the foundational concept of the Movie Lab's 2030 vision. Today in C, the same piece of content can simultaneously be made available to editors, executives, social media marketers, third-party rights holders, playout automation systems, or OTT supply chains instantaneously. And this is a massively important thing because it allows workflows to break free from the linear constraints of the past and begin to execute in parallel, saving significant time and money along the way. This can only happen though, if there's a central accessible repository. We're operating in a world where if you don't have that, you will be working at a significant disadvantage. So in order to navigate this new world, we believe there are five key capabilities broadcasters need to acquire. First is having a robust and reliable centralized content acquisition path. That means content can come in from cameras, it can come in through encoders, it can come in through uploading in the field, any various ways that content can come in. Second, you have to have tools that let people interact with the content where it first lands without moving it. That means they can actually see what's been pushed up. They can scrub, they can uh, preview, they can actually cut what they need. C enables this by automatically creating proxies of the content that's uploaded and then allowing users to preview, scrub, and clip content in place without ever having to move it. The third feature is using open systems that communicate in real time. C is going to allow any system to subscribe to specific events. It could be new content uploaded or metadata was up updated. So they can take immediate action when those events happen. And C API also allows third-party systems to securely access the content in place, eliminating the need to move it around to different locations. Fourth, we want to let people work as if they're in the same room. Live sessions, which is a key part of our collaboration capabilities, allows real-time live sync playback. And it enables people to work as if they're in the same room. Fifth, we understand that hybrid is a reality. While cloud adoption is happening fast, we realize sometimes content does need to be moved. And so C provides multiple ways to do that. You can send content through media boxes. You can send it directly to Aspera nodes, copy it to different S3 locations. All of these things are easy to do. But we realize that these five capabilities are absolutely imperative to meet today's challenges. But at the same time, those capabilities cannot and they will not be leveraged if they aren't simple to use. The upcoming generation of media professionals have a different background. The level of technical expertise varies widely, as do the tools they use to capture and create the content. Complicated systems that require days of training are non-starters. C was built with this in mind. Last month, over 175,000 users interacted with C. The majority of those received an invite to join a space or a media box or received a file request asking them to contribute content. 
and they used it without any training. This is so important because there's such a high degree of freelancers and third-party vendors that work in broadcast on a daily basis. Introducing new tools with heavy training requirements is destined to fail. We built C based on how people actually work. And now there are two different types of spaces to work with. Workspaces are optimized for teams. And catalogs launched last year are optimized for enterprises. So teams work together in a very special way, typically low friction and high trust. Catalogs, on the other hand, are meant for multiple teams or even departments, divisions, entirely different business units with various needs uh, where they can access content centrally with much more granular security controls without sacrificing what the simple user experience that people have come to know within C. The unique offering here is that workspaces and catalogs are all part of your C account. The user experience is identical across them and content can move seamlessly between them without any duplication. We built it that way so that content can be safely worked on by creative teams and then when the teams are finished, it can be published into catalog where other groups downstream can take advantage of it. Those groups can be sales or marketing, promo teams, could even be other creative teams that need to leverage content that had been previously created all within the same enterprise, all within the same user interface. The end result is that content can remain in one place, but it's made accessible across the entire enterprise throughout all the li different life, life cycles of that particular content. And as we mentioned earlier, the systems can access that content just as easily through C's API, making it simple to feed supply chains or other downstream applications. And we built it this way because we believe that those five key capabilities that we talked about a little bit earlier are only as useful as they are easy to use and integrate with. So we covered the five key capabilities that broadcasters need in order to move quickly and securely in a cloud environment. And we highlighted the importance of a simple yet powerful user experience. Now, I'd like to show how C is providing these capabilities today with real world use cases, and then I'll wrap with highlighting a couple of important enhance enhancements that are currently on the roadmap. First, we'd like to highlight central cloud acquisition and instant interactivity. Here we see the capture step can consist of upload from a camera, live streams from an encoder or another camera, or contribution via a file request. Regardless of the method, the content still lands in the same central repository. C will create instantly proxies so that the interested parties can scrub and watch and find the content they want. In this case, an editor can access that content directly from within Premiere, turn around a rough cut, send that right back into C where live collaboration can take place, again, without moving that content. Once the final piece is created, it too can be uploaded into C where it can be delivered for broadcast and then archived, all in the same system. Next, we'll highlight open integration. In this slide, we'll see content being uploaded to C with webhook notifications automatically being sent out to a customer's video supply chain, which then kicks off its own QC process and then delivers the content directly from C to its various DSPs. All of this again without moving the content until that very final delivery step. Next up is real-time collaboration. With built-in live sessions, users anywhere in the world can have real-time synced playback with on-screen annotations and commenting with interactive playback controls for everyone. This is all done in a browser, requires no software to be installed, and all of the playback happens directly from the cloud, which means you don't have to copy content all over the place. Lastly, C supports hybrid workflows by enabling content to be downloaded to any on-premise location. Content can also be sent directly to other on-premise locations by targeting the spare nodes that you may have in your infrastructure. Similarly, Content can be pushed to any S3 location that you require. Storage gateways can also prove helpful to allow on-prem editors to access C's cloud-based storage directly through an NFS mount. These are just a few examples of how C delivers on the five key capabilities broadcasters require. To wrap up, I want to briefly mention some new features on the roadmap that customers have been asking for and we're very excited to deliver. First up, frame accurate audio meters and audio scrubbing features. 
This is going to help with cloud-based QC. In fact, this was one of the key obstacles to certain customers moving to an entirely cloud-based workflow. This new feature will significantly reduce their egress costs, eliminate the associated on-prem storage and networking requirements, and most importantly, speed up the overall workflow. So that about wraps it up for this session. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your attention and we really value your feedback. It drives everything that we do. Thanks again.